Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the shul. I'm glad that we have these few moments to pause and reflect on this most important and powerful day. You know, these days that we're surrounded by, Yom HaZikaron, Israel Remembrance Day, Yom HaAtzma'ut, which is Israel Independence Day, are two studies in contrast. I lived in Israel for seven years, and I had some remarkable experiences, but I can tell you unflinchingly, one of the most powerful has been the annual observation of Israel's Memorial Day, the day that we commemorate and remember those who have fallen in defense of our homeland throughout the country, on trains, on buses, in cars, in malls and in offices, in schools and on playgrounds. When the air siren blows to mark the minute of memory and commemoration of those who have fallen, everything stops. And it is a chilling moment. It is a powerful moment. It reminds us what we so truly understand, that there is nothing that is given in life for free. Everything that we have of meaning, we have fought for and we earn. It's true about all life. But sadly, we also stand how powerfully true it is about Jewish life. We have been given nothing for free. Everything that we have earned, we have struggled for. And that is why when we look upon that most remarkable tiny country that contains the world's largest single Jewish community, we take an extraordinary level of pride and also have such powerful senses of protection for it because it represents what's very best about us and also about human nature. So of all the things that we have to be proud of of Israel, consider this one thing. Of all the countries that entered into the 21st century, Israel is the only country that had a net gain in trees. We plan for life. We continue to pray and hope for it in every day. And our greatest and most fervent wish is that Ya'aseh Shalom Aleinu V'Akol Amo Yisrael, there will be true peace for all of us in our homeland. Chag Sameach.